discuss today was one of the biggest mistakes that athletes make when they stretch, period. But more importantly, when they stretch their hip rotators, is they, stre they stretch entirely too hard. So when we have an athlete, when he comes up, and someone's stretching them, or they're stretching themselves, the key is they've got to stretch about 30 to 40 percent of the muscle's capability. Most athletes try to stretch too hard. They'll pull across all the way. You can see when he pulls across, when I pull across for him, how this whole body's going to rotate. And so what all that's going to do is the muscle's not going to be able to relax. The muscle's going to fight him, and he's going to stretch. He's not going to get any benefit out of this at all. So some of the newer studies coming out talk about taking the muscle to about 30 to 40 percent of its capacity, holding that for a minute, doing that three repetitions, and the athlete should feel a release in this hip area here. This is the number one restriction that we see in football players is their hip rotators are very tight. Their ability to change directions is limited. That places more stress on their hip joint, on their knee, even down to their ankle and their first ray. So it affects their rehab when they're coming off of an injury. Right. The second thing that the athletes make a mistake is when they're stretching, they don't properly align themselves. Their hips rotate out to the side. And the third mistake is they never hold the stretches long enough. Right. All the research shows to get an increase in elasticity of the muscle, you've got to hold this stretch for a minute, and the athlete's got to feel this become less after a minute. If they don't feel it get less, they're stretching entirely too hard. So if they can pick up these easy keys spend more time on the hips, don't stretch quite as hard, actually they'll get better benefits from less efforts.